A fun ride, but one that had a bit of a somber ending. We're here at Boulder Social just an hour ago or so. This area was filled with Colorado Buffs fans. Here we are now. The scene has pretty much cleared out. Now, it was pure dominance from Iowa start to finish. Caitlin Clark just seems inevitable at this point. But even though they managed to stifle CU's offense, one thing they couldn't stop was the excitement and enthusiasm of the fans here today who were cheering and groaning with pretty much every basket that was scored. We talked to a few families out here today. One of them we talked to said this is the first time their family had ever come together for an NCAA women's tournament game to actually watch it in person. So we're seeing the sport grow and the respect for these athletes continue to move forward. A tumultuous series of emotions for AC Jackson and her family at their Boulder social table. It's a table divided, with AC and her boyfriend cheering on their buffs through thick and thin, while her Iowa parents were looking for bragging rights. Iowa firmly in control. <laughs> it's the first year the family has a bracket for the NCAA Women's Basketball Tournament, a change that's brought more excitement and appreciation for just how far the women's sport has come. Instead of the men's tournament, we're doing the women's tournament this year, and it's like it's just really exciting to be able to watch the women's game here. And uh, I mean, obviously, it's a lot due to her, but there are just also so many other amazing players, and to get to shine a lot on them is really great. And if there is a silver lining to all this, it's that AC's family has a new tradition now. Jacqueline, they said despite the ending of today's game, they're just proud that their buffs made it this far.